now in question 5 we have a voltage vt which is equal to 230 sin omega t is applied to a circuit and supplies a current that is it equals 8 cos omega t plus 8 cos into bracket omega t plus 60 degrees plus 6 sin omega t plus 30 degrees plus 2 sin into bracket omega t minus 30 degrees and then we are asked to find the maximum value of the current and then the phase angle between the voltage and the current now let's begin with i to find the maximum value of the current we need to sum up the various current components however we realize that we have 8 cos omega t in the second term we have cos but in the last two terms that is the third term and the fourth term we have sine sine now we need to make sure that we represent all the current components in the standard sinusoidal waveform equation which means that we want to represent all the current components in the form im sin omega t plus phi and that is i of t now since we have the last two terms having sine sine we are going to focus on the first two terms that is 8 cos omega t and then 8 cos into brackets omega t plus 60 now to change from cos to sine cos omega t is equal to sine omega t plus 90 degrees so now we can change 8 cos omega t to 8 sine omega t plus 90 so 8 cos omega t equals 8 sine omega t plus 90 degrees and then for the second one that is 8 cos omega t plus 60 is equal to 8 sine omega t plus so we are going to add 60 and then 90 now 60 plus 90 is 150 so we have 8 sine omega t plus 150 so we are going to have I of t to be 8 sine omega t plus 90 plus 8 sine omega t plus 150 plus 6 sine omega t plus 30 and then 2 sin omega t minus 30 now let's find the x and the y component of the current now for the x component it's going to be the peak value cos the angle so for the first one we have 8 cos 90 for the second one or the second term we have 8 cos 150 now the third term we have 6 cos 30 and then for the last term we have 2 cos negative 30 now 8 cos 90 is equal to 0 8 cos 150 is equal to negative 4 with 3 
6 cos 30 is equal to 3 root 3 and then 2 cos negative 30 is equal to root 3 so when we add all these values we are going to get 0 now negative 4 root 3 plus 3 root 3 is negative root 3 and then negative root 3 plus root 3 is equal to 0 so now let's find the value for the y component so this time it's going to be the peak value sine the angle so we are going to have 8 sine 90 we have 8 sine 150 we have 6 sine 30 and then we have 2 sine negative 30 now 8 sine 90 is equal to 8 8 sine 150 is equal to 4 6 sine 30 is equal to 3 and then 2 sine negative 30 is equal to negative 1 so 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 3 is 15 and then 15 minus 1 is 14 so we have the y component to be 14 so we can say that ix is equal to 0 and then iy is equal to 14 now to find the maximum value im is equal to the square root of 0 squared that is the x component squared plus the y component squared and this is going to give you 14 so we have 14 amperes as the peak value or the maximum value so now let's find the phase angle between the voltage and the current now we had ix to be equal to 0 and then iy to be equal to 14 now we all know that tan phi is equal to the y component over the x component so we have tan phi to be equal to 14 divided by 0 now 14 over 0 is undefined so you cannot find the tan inverse of an undefined value but we know that tan phi is equal to sine phi over cos phi so that is equal to 14 over 0 now let's cross multiply so when we cross multiply we are going to get 0 times sine phi equals 14 times cos phi now 0 times sine phi is equal to 0 so we have 0 equals 14 cos phi and then we divide both sides of the equation by 14 now 0 over 14 is equal to 0 and so we have 14 cancels 14 and then we have cos phi so cos phi is equal to 0 now phi is equal to cos inverse of 0 and then phi is equal to 90 degrees so the phase angle between the voltage and the current is equal to 90 degrees.